um, but everything else is correct. Okay, uh, so um, this this question here asks. Um, so we've got two charges, three nanocoulombs, a distance r from the center, and then another distance r to another three nanocoulomb. And then that's a distance r from this point. So it asks, what is the electric field due to these charges at that point? So electric field is a vector. So we want to set up an axis system. I'm going to pick my origin here and have x and y. So our electric field is given by uh, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, the charge over the distance squared times r hat. Um, so r hat being the unit vector in the direction. Um, so for our, and we have two charges, 1 and 2. So then um, we can get two electric fields, and then our total would be the sum. So for E1, um, we would have 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, Q over R1 squared R1 hat. Um, looking at the figure, our R1 hat, or our R1 vector, from this position is minus r x hat minus r y hat and our r2 vector is r uh, minus r x hat plus r y hat so these are from the positions of the um, of the charges not from the origin and so we can solve for our magnitude which would be the square root of r squared plus r squared. So that's summing the individual squared components. And that would be square root of 2r. And then our r1 hat is just our vector over our magnitude, which is then just minus 1 over root 2 x hat minus 1 over root 2 y hat. And similarly, our two magnitude is root two r as well, and our two hat is minus one over root two x hat plus one over root two y hat. So now we're in position to solve for our individual electric fields. So our E1 is just one over four pi epsilon naught, 3.0 nanocoulombs over root 2 r squared times minus 1 over root 2 x hat minus 1 over root 2 y hat. And our E2 is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, 3.0 nanocoulombs root 2 r squared minus 1 over root root 2 x hat plus 1 over root 2 y hat. Now our total is just the sum, which is then uh, going to, we just add these up. So we're going to pull out the like terms, which is all this stuff. Coulombs. I'm going to go ahead and square this so we get a 2r squared. And then the vectors are going to add up. So 1 over root 2x hat minus 1 over root 2y hat minus 1 over root 2x hat 
plus 1 over root 2 y hat. And now obviously the minus here and the plus here are going to cancel. And the x hat will double up. So 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, 3 nanocoulombs over 2 r squared. And then we'll get a minus 2 over root 2 x hat. Go ahead and cancel this too. And we could probably pull out some more numbers, but since everything's still in R, I'm just going to leave most of it. And so we get minus 3.0 nanocoulombs over 4 pi epsilon naught root 2 R squared x hat. Here, uh, this looks good. They, they did uh, go through and figure out all the numbers, um, which you could do, but since everything's still in R, I think that's fine. And so the magnitude is just the unsigned value, and the direction is in minus x, or um, from the figure towards the left. And so this looks good, so the solution is correct. Okay. And I'm gonna cut that there and say um, that's good for today. I hope uh, you enjoyed this session. If you did, please subscribe to One Class. Uh, if you want to leave questions, uh, please follow the links uh, provided below. Um, this has been Jeff Kress.